As the oldest son, it's my job to take care of our mom. So I'm kicking you two parasites out. All you have to worry about is sending me money to take care of her. What are you talking about? Mama's been dead for quite some time now. What are you talking about? Why am I just hearing about this now? She can't be dead. She died about a month ago. I tried calling you, but you never picked up. I sent you a message too, but you never responded to me. Oh, right. Well, that's because I blocked your number so I wouldn't have to deal with you. So you've had my number blocked for a whole year, but you've decided to message me all of a sudden about this of all things? Listen, you're the younger brother and you better watch your tone when you talk to me. The fact is that circumstances have changed for me. And just what circumstances might those be? Mom started to need nursing years ago, and that was when you refused to take care of her. Well, no, duh. Of course, I said no back then. I have a lot of overseas business trips, and there was no way that I could have been able to give Mom the care that she needed. Is that what really happened? Because I think that you just tossed off your responsibility onto me and Emily and ran away. Quit bad-mouthing me. You don't know what you're talking about. You just need to respect your older brother. Just do as I say and quit arguing with me. You only seem to pull the big brother card when you want something. Otherwise, you've never done anything that a big brother should do. Just shut up already. She lived in the middle of the country and it would have been an hour and a half commute for me. And so what? What does that have to do with anything? So there aren't even any good bars there? What was I even supposed to do for fun? Is that the reason you didn't want to take care of mom? Because you didn't think that you'd be having enough fun there. I know the kinds of bars you like. The kinds with lots of topless women, am I wrong? Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter now. The point is that you and Emily need to move out of that house right away. But we basically gave up our old lives to move out here and take care of mom. Anyways, unlike you two who can't even have kids, I have a wonderful son who's gotten into a great school. And I'm happy to hear that Donnie has gotten into a good school. Though I don't see what that has to do with anything. It just means my family is better than yours. But Sandra said that she really respected me and Emily for moving out here to help. What does she know anyway? She better just keep her mouth shut. She wasn't even saying anything bad though. Why are you being like this? I'm her husband, but she sure likes to go running off her mouth against me. I'll be sure to teach her a lesson later, if you know what I mean. Jay, please don't do this. Sandra is such a nice person. We really appreciated her kind words. The past three years taking care of her has been a lot on Emily and I. Oh, you need to learn to keep your mouth shut too. Just shut up and do as I say. But you never had to take care of mom. You don't know what it was like for us. She was in a wheelchair and could only move using her arms. She even needed help getting into the bath and cleaning herself. Okay, and? Why should I care about that? You don't know how hard it was for us. You don't know what you're talking about at all. Oh, you just really are a big baby, you know that? A spoiled little brat. And she got so forgetful towards the end of life too. We were so worried about what she was doing. And saying she would even wake up screaming in the middle of the night. Well, that just sounds awful, doesn't it? You two had to deal with a lot. We tried hiring live-in nurses. But there were so many that ended up quitting. It was one of the most difficult times of my life. Well, I don't remember asking at all about how hard you worked. But if it was really that hard, then you should have just put her in a home and been done with it all. But don't you remember that mom told us that she wanted to spend the end of her life at home? I just wanted to fulfill her last wishes. Can't you understand that? Sure, whatever. You had to do what you had to do. But obviously, you were going to be the one who was going to take care of her since you two don't have kids. I didn't have time to raise my kid and take care of mom. But raising a kid and nursing an elderly person 
are two completely different things. You still don't know what we went through to take care of mom. There is no difference at all. Taking care of someone is taking care of someone and that is that. You just don't get it. I quit my last job and worked so hard looking for a new place to work near where mom lived. It couldn't have been that hard. They don't have any good bars there, but they've got plenty of places that need dumb grunt labor. You didn't go to college anyway, so you're useless. Things might be different if you had a good investment job like me, but you're just a lowly factory worker. You're nothing compared to me. Hey, please don't talk to me like that. I really like my job, and I'm proud of what I do. Don't make me laugh. You and all of your co-workers are probably all just high school graduates at best, right? Well, what is there to be proud of in a job like that? And Emily quit the job she loved to move in and be a full-time nurse after we couldn't find anyone willing to stay. She's your wife. She shouldn't have been working anyway. How many times have I told you a woman's place is in the home? If it's really that simple to turn into a nurse, then I really don't believe that you had that much of a problem finding one. The most that we could hire someone for was an hour a day. What is the matter with you? That isn't nearly enough. It really wasn't. We could get them to come in once or twice a day, but nothing more than that. But when we realized it wasn't going to be enough, Emily quit her job. You say that, but I bet she just wanted to quit her job and relax at home all day anyway. Oh, that isn't true. She worked really hard and did a good job taking care of mom. I seriously doubt that. I know Emily. She really isn't that bright of a girl. There is no way she did that good of a job. I can't talk to you like this. This whole conversation is going nowhere. You always were a useless one, you know that? But I'm not surprised that you and your useless wife were barely able to take care of mom. How hard is it to push around some old woman in a wheelchair? Being a nurse isn't just about physical strength, you know. There is a lot of emotional and mental work that goes into it too. Emily has passed out from exhaustion when taking care of mom before. You mean that she was getting stressed out just by being around mom? I guess I can relate to that. <laughs> no, it isn't anything like that. They got along great. She treated mom as if she were her own mother. You mean Emily really did all of that for mom? There were some nights where she was so worried about mom that she couldn't even sleep unless she was sleeping in the chair next to mom and I had to start working night shifts to afford all the extra supplies we needed to help take care of mom too. Whatever. I doubt you're being honest about all of that. You're just making this a bigger deal than it really was. You know what? I don't really care whether you believe me. Well, now that she's dead, she probably had a lot to give out in her will, right? Hand it all over to me. It's mine. What are you even talking about? I know that she was always good at saving her money. She probably had a lot put away in investments, right? I want all of that money that you got from her in my bank account by next weekend. Do you really think that you have any right in demanding this from me after making us take care of mom? I am the oldest son, okay? You are the younger brother. You have to listen to what I say and quit arguing with me. I already told you that you only ever try and play that card when it suits you. But never when it means taking on more responsibility. Well, I have a big business trip next month. So just make sure that that money is in my bank account by the weekend. Jay, there is a lot that I think we need to talk about. Don't you think that we can just meet in person and hash all of this out? You want to meet and talk in person? No way, man. I don't think I have time to waste on something like that. I'm an important investor. I can't be wasting my time talking to some lowly little factory grunt like you. What does that even have to do with anything? What are you even talking about? 
Look, I'm going overseas soon on an important business trip to Singapore. And I need to perfect my golf swing before I leave. Are you kidding me? That is why you can't talk to me? What is the matter with you? Enough grumbling already. Just shut up and send me the money like I'm telling you. Wait, just hold on. Jay, are you there? Hey, I'm selling mom's house. You two need to get out right now and find a brand new place to live. Wait, whoa, what? What is this? How can you do this all of a sudden? You two have always gotten in my way, and I won't be letting you stand in my way anymore. I'm the oldest son, so I'm the one who should inherit the house. You two can do whatever you like, just get out of the house. Well, you're more than welcome to try and do that, but you will need the deed to the house first. You realize that, right? Well, I have the deed here. I'll have you know. Wait, what? I have the keys to mom's house, and I snuck in while you were out working your night shift yesterday. You came all the way out here to steal the deed when you wouldn't even talk to me. What is the matter with you? Yep. <laughs> And that useless wife of yours was asleep on the second floor. She's not even a good guard dog. What is wrong with you? How could you do something like that? I'm the oldest son, and I'm telling you that you two are officially kicked out of the house. I know a good real estate agent, and he told me that he could sell the house with no problem. Wait, just a second, Jay. If you sell the house, then where are Emily and I supposed to live? Why do you think that's my problem? Maybe you two can go sleep on the factory floor. Maybe there's room for you both in the meat locker. I'm going to be away for a whole week on my business trip. When I get back, you both better have moved out already. You can't just throw us out of the house like this. It isn't fair. This is our home. Don't you talk back to me. Just listen to your oldest brother. Got it? And don't message me anymore. I am busy working on my golf game. But we can't just find a new place to live in and move out all of our stuff in just a week. How are we supposed to manage all of that? Jay, wait, answer me. Hey, I see that someone is still living in mom's house. What is the matter with you? So, I take it you've gotten back from your business trip then? I also see that someone changed the locks on the door. What is up with that? Well, I found someone willing to rent the house from me the other day. We actually just finished moving out today. What did you just say to me? I was going to sell that house. You just don't get to choose what happens with it. Actually, mom left the house to me in her will, so... I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? Are you telling me that she didn't give me the oldest son her house? But I have the deed. I'll sue you for this. All right. About that. Sandra was kind enough to find that deed that you stole and return it to me. Wait, what? She did what? I mean, she told me that you just left it on top of the table in your living room. She saw it and called me right away. You turned my wife against me? How could you do this? This isn't a joke. This is serious. Give me what I'm old. I'm the oldest son. You were actually the only one who didn't get anything in that will. Emily and even Sandra got something from mom. Just not you, Jay. And that's exactly how mom wrote it in her will. You wasn't even in her will. I wasn't even in her will. Are you kidding me? That can't be true. Why didn't you even tell me? I had a right to know about that. I tried to tell you when mom died, but you had my number blocked. I didn't have a way to tell you about what happened. No, this can't be happening. You're lucky your wife loves you. She told me she put her share in your joint account. Wait, what? Really? I'm sure you should be able to see the record of it on your phone, no? Wait, hold on just a second. Oh, I see it. The money's there. Well, I'm happy too. 
I'm just so happy to hear that it's settled then. What are you talking about? Of course, this isn't settled. This is hardly any money at all. What is the meaning of all of this? Give me more money. I'm older. Why did my wife get money and I didn't? I'm the oldest son. How could I be getting so little from mom? Sandra got money because she came over every week to help us take care of mom. Something that you never did. You were more concerned with golf than you were about taking care of your own mother. You don't know what you're talking about. Sandra dedicated all of her time to helping mom. She did more for mom than you probably have all of your life. I didn't know that that was what she was doing. Of course you wouldn't know. Sandra told me that you hardly even come home most nights. What do you mean? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Just where were you going all those nights, huh? Another strip club, I bet. This has nothing to do with you. Just mind your business. Sandra said that she put her share in the joint account because there's hardly any money in there. Where did all your money go, Jay? I mean, a big investor like you should be bringing home close to six figures, right? You don't know what you're talking about at all. You're just a lonely little factory worker. You have no idea the kind of expenses that someone in my position has to deal with. I have to pay for expensive golf club memberships and maintain my image for my clients. And that's really what you've been spending all your money on? Golf and country clubs? Do you have any idea what your own wife has been putting into your relationship? What are you even talking about right now? What do you even know about my wife or what she does for us? I don't think that you know at all what she's been doing. Not only was she helping out with mom, but she's been paying for all of Dunny's clubs and tutors out of her own pocket with her savings from before you two got married. Well, it's the woman's job to take care of the child, so what's wrong with that? Besides, if that's what she wants to spend her savings on then, that's her choice. I need my money for my things. It's as simple as that. You always used to spend all of mom's money when you lived at home too. You were never good with money. What does that have to do with anything now? And then, you promised to help take care of mom when she got sick. But in the end, you didn't help out. You didn't even bother coming to visit her. Well, things changed and I realized that I needed to be there for her. I thought that something was wrong when you reached out to me out of the blue asking to take care of mom. I knew that you always hated the idea about living out in the country. Well, what does any of that matter now? She's gone, isn't she? Why can't we just go back to being friends? Just give me some of the money you got. That's the least that you can do. What are you talking about? Are you being serious right now? Well, if you don't, then I'll just have to use all that money that Sandra got from mom. You better not cause that poor woman any more stress. You've put her through enough. And besides, she told me that she was going to divorce you. What are you saying? I know that isn't true. That woman loves me. Well, I'm just telling you what she told me. And I am out of love for you as well, Jay. I know now that all you're interested in is the money that you can get from us. Come on, don't be like that. You can't do that to me. By the way, we got the bill from the tab that you had at the strip club. Wait, what? You mean Sandra found out about that? One of the strippers delivered the bill to your house personally. She made sure to mention the affair that you were having with her as well. No, it's a lie. She was lying. This is all just a big mistake. Sandra should know better than to listen to some stripper. I think she should know better than to listen to you. She can't divorce me. Our condo belongs to her family. I won't have anywhere to live. Well, yeah. No, duh. And she's going to make sure to bleed you dry with alimony and child support as well. Wait, no. This can't be happening to me. You aren't serious, are you? I'm your only brother. We're all we have in the world now. Please, you have to let me live at mom's house. 
Of course that isn't going to happen. Get real, Jay. You're all on your own now. You just can't hang me out to dry like this. Please, I'm your brother. Your older brother. You have no idea the kind of pain that you have caused not just me, but Emily and Mom, and even your own wife. And you have no idea about the hard work everyone else has been doing. But I... I didn't know. If I had known then, I would have helped. But you didn't. And meanwhile, we dedicated every hour of our lives to working and taking care of Mom. We even had to hire our own help because it was so difficult. I'm sorry. I really had no idea. I made a big mistake. And what's more, you only ever showed any interest in one to be a good big brother when it suited you for your own selfish reasons. I never want to see you again. Do you understand me? Please forgive me. You have to help me. You can't let this happen to me. Jay's wife had her mind focused solely on their kid. She held on to that marriage for what seemed like forever, doing everything in her power to make it work. But eventually, she came to the realization that there was only one viable option left for her. Divorce. Now, in a typical situation like this, they would have had to go through the arduous process of dividing their property. But with the shocking revelation of Jay's affair coming to light, things took a different turn. It was as if a golden opportunity presented itself to Jay's wife. She seized it with both hands, making sure that she not only walked away with a fair share, but also made him pay a pretty penny in child support. And boy, did he owe a substantial amount to that strip club he frequented. Talk about digging himself into a financial hole. To make matters worse for Jay, in a desperate attempt to repay his mounting debts, he resorted to embezzling money from his own company. Can you believe it? The guy was caught red-handed and promptly shown the door. Now, poor Jay finds himself out on the streets, homeless, and struggling to scrape together even the bare minimum for survival. Life can be a real roller coaster, huh? Now, shifting gears a bit, let me tell you something that happened to me just yesterday. Brace yourselves. I found out that Emily, my partner, is pregnant. Talk about a game changer. We're both over the moon with excitement, eagerly looking forward to starting our own little family. It's amazing how life takes unexpected turns, isn't it? Here I am, witness to the aftermath of a failed marriage, while at the same time embarking on a new chapter of my own, filled with hope, anticipation, and the joy of new beginnings. Life truly works in mysterious ways.